Yeah, well, just while the customers aren't here. Get a bit of demolition done so we're not disturbing, disturbing them. And the plan tomorrow is finish taking the wall out, put the steel in place and build the block work up to it. I'm, I'm going to put the first three courses in, in flat just to spread the weight a bit as well. And good morning on this very chilly Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday the 6th of December. Welcome to the show. I'm your host Alex and welcome to Brickling with Steve and Alex. <laughs> uh, today's job, we have a steel job to do today featuring this one here. What? Oh. camera? featuring Steve, my co-host. So today's, to, well, it's a two-day job. Today's job is gonna be, we're gonna be taking some of this floor out and building a wall, yeah? Locking so, door. yeah, so let's uh, turn you around. So where Dad is, that door's being blocked up and once that's done, we're gonna be demolishing this wall down in our natural steel job banner and getting the steel from the new opening up to here and let's see I'll spin you around again so you can see as you can see here there is existing steels and our steel is going to be going connecting to this one and it's a special steel with what's it called? A couple of flanges. <coughs> flanges. Flanges. Yeah. So our steel's got a couple of flanges, as uh, my assistant has helped me with. And what's going to happen is the someone from JM Steels is going to come, and they're going to weld it to this existing steel. We have to get up there to the ground and get all the rust off first. Oh yeah, we have, have to. As you can see, it looks like a bit of timber, it's that rusted, so we're going to give it a bit of a clean off. And once that's in, JM's welded it in. That'll be us finished, so we only need the one pad stone, which thankfully we have pre-cut from our last job. Um, got plenty of acros as you can see, but our first task of the day is gonna be, put you into position first, and then, so. Pass me a trowel, sure. First task of the day is gonna be take up this floor. Just to the doorway. Yeah, and then we gotta nip off and go pick up the rest of the stuff, get some sand, cement, get the seal from home, get the skip ordered. So today, this morning, we just get all the big stuff dropped off. And then we're going to pick up all our stuff and then get that door blocked up. And then hopefully get some wall demolished. How's it look? Let's take you with me. Put the boards on a joist. So we're just taking that section out because we need the floor down. So we need these, these four out. One, two, three, four. So we can get out the doorway. Um, that one's already out. We can put that back once we've got these out. But we need to get the, um, the circular saw to run across there. Another thing we need to pick up from home. Yes. As you can see, we had quite a bit of stuff in the van already. Seven acros, all our tools. Yeah. Wheel drive, all that in the back of it. But yeah, we've, got, we've built up quite the arsenal of acros over the last uh, few months. We've, we've never bought any of them, we just keep getting gifted them. Yeah. So we've ended up with seven. We've got no eight. Yeah, we've got eight. Yeah, so um, we're, we're right for acros when we're currently in them. Robbie's currently buying some of them, Strong Boys, so he's going to get us three as well, so. Happy days. Right, so we best stop dilly dallying with this talking because some people like us talking, some people hate us talking. But yeah, so that is the battle plan of today. So I will quit uh, chit-chatting your ears off and I will catch you in a bit.
Right. Using our trusty Milwaukee torch. If you look down there, just do not hold the light on. Just hold it up there for me. Right down there. If you look at that. I've took the concrete down so it shows that the internal wall, which I'll pan up and show you, the internal solid wall, which is holding all the walls above and the floors, is actually built off the subfloor. As you can see, you give it a tap, it sounds absolutely solid. So the good news is there's no brick under there, which would have meant the bricks were coming up from a foundation and this was just a, an oversight floor. But um, that means that concrete is up to us taking our block work straight off it. So I'm going to get the building inspector a quick ring and show him. And then we can crack on. I'm, I'm going to put the first three courses in, in flat, just to spread the weight a bit as well. Get it up to damp, put two damp courses in because right underneath on. we have two damp courses under there. We've got one under that joist there and one under that joist there. So we're going to put two in just to be safe. Not that I can see how dry it is, not that it's ever going to get wet. So now we know what we're doing, we know what we need. We can bugger off and get our gear. I think we'll have a break first because the customer's coming back and then we can lock the house up. So yeah, all well, this is going to make sense in a bit. Over and out. So, we're on the road. We just stopped by at the other job to pick up some boards. Said hi to the Robs. And now, first stop's fuel. Yeah. So we're going to get some fuel for the van. Then... Fuel's a bit of a trek. Our local garage, our local Asda's a joke. They, um, they're not trying to be competitive at all, so we have to we have to drive out a little bit to get fuel. Not far. Just what you have to do, isn't it, to find the right price for your fuel? And then uh, there's the material run. Got a nip home as well, we need to pick up some stuff. Well, the steel for starters. Yeah. <laughs> so, get some get some stuff, we're going to Berska for our stuff. There you go. So Berska for the materials, then home for the rest of the stuff, like the drill and the steel and what have you. And then we're back over there to get started with some block work. Yeah, hopefully get some stuff demolished too. I've run the building inspector and told them what's what. We've got um we've duck I might have already said this one. But um, yeah we have haven't we? Yeah. Yeah you've shown it all. So he's That's it? Oh yeah, so yeah, building inspector's been spoke to so he knows what's what. And yeah, so we'll uh see you in a bit. Oh and we're back at it. Uh, we had, we've had our lunch and everything, so I was just to, down to business. So, the plan now is we're going to do some demolition, right? Yep. Yeah, well, just while the customers aren't here, get a bit of demolition done so we're not disturbing, disturbing them, and can make sure all the dust gets out, extract all the dust out before they get back, because we've got the windows and the doors open up in the other room, so that's the case. Then rest into my pros. Done a bit of it, a bit of the WD therapy. So I'm just gonna get this prop up now, get this ready and then take some wall out. Okay, we are solid there. Three acros down to the concrete where the floorboards come up. Now, what this is doing, this is obviously holding the floorboards up and the upstairs, and it's holding the wall up where the joist, joist goes through into the wall. That's now holding the wall above. I'm not sure how high that wall goes, but um, yeah, that's it. the wall stops here. I'm guessing that that returns where that return is, and that goes up. So. What's happening is, we are, I think we're going to block this up to here. So this, so it returns like that. 
and that gives it a bit of strength Sorry. so it returns and then you've got to return there I think that's where we're blocking up to so that means the wall's coming out to here roughly so I was thinking we were taking it back to here but we can't do that because like I say there's a wall that runs off the runs off I can't remember if that's coming out or not I might have to check with the customer but I don't think it is if it is, then it's another steel's job. I can't see that happening. And you're into the stairs and everything there, it gets complicated. So um, what we're gonna do now is go in the other side. Because that's only holding the floor joists up, the floorboards up, we're gonna we're just gonna prop down onto the floorboards. Because we don't want to start ripping floorboards up in the kitchen. So we're just gonna put the boards up, prop it up lightly. These are these have pulled up right solid, so these are holding the wall and this floor. The other side is just going to have to hold the wall, the, the floor temporary and it won't be for long because the steel will be going straight in and then up on acros. So we have seven acros, we'll probably do with another couple more actually. We've actually got another one at home we should have picked up. But yes, once Alex gets back from the tour we're going to get the other side propped up and start taking this wall out. And the plan tomorrow is finish taking the wall out, put the steel in place and build the block work up to it. Then it'll be propped up, ready for welding and we can also get all that packed up tight and then take the acros out on Friday morning, Thursday morning, before we go to Alton Towers. That's a five minute job to come and do the acros. So that's the plan. Once he's back, we'll get that sorted and we'll start making a mess while the customer's not in. So yeah, there we go. Is this by a miracle? The skip came. <laughs> we only ordered it today, so we weren't expecting it at all today. We even got the boards ready to just jump all the crap on until it came tomorrow. Oh, well, that saves me a lot of time. It saves us a lot of money to the board. Then to the skip the day after. Let's hope he doesn't knock over this wall. <laughs> Didn't hear any breaking. That's good. So now that the skips arrived, we can start making a mess. Yes. So that's going to be destroying. I'm going to be emptying. Ten to two. So let's uh, let's aim to have all this out then, shall we? At least. Yeah. So at the very least, we want all this wall out. We've had a bit of a dead morning, so let's make it up this afternoon.
juice through the steaks. Obviously, cut all this bit out because now comes the intro part. So, just cut this bit out because I know that you leave bits in sometimes that aren't meant to be left in. And it's like, I tell you to cut it out. You can put this in a blooper if you want, but have my intro part start when the intro starts if you get me. Okay? Okay. And good morning on this very frost, not frosty, it's not frosty, is it? I'm gonna do that again. Okay. 